So shout out to Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco on Nightcap. I usually send them questions to be able to build that relationship, rebuild their rapport. Shout out to what they're doing. So this is what I sent them the other day. The question says, as a sports capper, I give praise when players ball out. Example, buy their jerseys, etc. But I also call them out when they don't. If both of you played in this age of sports betting, how would you handle social media bettors losing money off your play? Now, I originally had a very more detailed question, but they only allow you to do so many characters. So I had to rearrange it like six different times to make it be articulate enough so he can understand the question without me babbling. I'm about to play both of their responses. And then we're going to react to it. And it's and I want to get your thoughts. So the question I got at the bottom is say, should athletes care about sports betters plays? Now let me make sure I have my volume so y'all can hear it. And I don't want no copyright. So Shannon Sharp, don't send me a copyright from playing this. Uh, top four in the Super Bowl. We you doing this. And that's why I'm not a coach. That's why I'm not a coach. Top sports debate asks, as a pro as a, as a pro sports capper, I give praise when players ball out by the jersey, et cetera. But I call them out when they don't. If you played in this age, sports betting, how would you handle social media betters losing money off your plate? Well, uh, are you sending me anything when you win the money? Oh, that's a good one. Kevin Durant. I mean, but he said, said he does. Kevin he Durant buys the jersey. That. Like, he says that when guys win him money, he'll buy their jersey. Right. Honestly, guys, I mean, there was sports better, but there was no social media when I played. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, look, bro, I'm trying to win a game. I'm trying to win that game. I promise you, I want to win that game. More do you want to win that 500, yep. that 1,000, or that 20,000? I mm-hmm. promise you. I promise you. And I'll stay up more later at night, have more restless nights. Because I dropped the pass or I made a mistake that somehow cost us a victory or didn't go the way I wanted it to go longer than you'll worry about that money. That hurt. Yeah, yeah, that it hurt. hurt. And you know, I, I tell people that are that are gamblers, you know you're gonna win and you lose. And if you're not if you're not willing to lose, you shouldn't be gambling. Because you ain't gonna win them all. No. You can't you I mean you, you you're not supposed to gamble any more than you can afford to lose anyway. It's so just, you but shouldn't see, be upset when you do lose. That, that's, yeah. I think that's the problem. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I have a lot to respond to that. So we're going to break this all the way down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to break it down. Let's go. Why I'm not a coach. Top sports debate asks, as a pro, as a, as a pro sports capper, I give praise when players ball out by the jersey, et cetera. But I call them out when they don't. If you played in this age, sports betting, how would you handle social media betters losing money off your plate? Well, uh, are you sending me anything when you win the money? So usually that's athletes' first response. Kevin Durant just was like, hey, are y'all sending me money when y'all hit parlays? Everybody was like, what's your cash app? If you bought not legally, I don't think he'd be able to do that because... Inside, it will say it's insider trade. They, they get them, so we can't technically probably do it. But he like, are y'all sending me money? No, I can't personally send you money. But um, Jalen Hurts won me eight thousand dollars what two weeks ago. I don't care about no damn Eagles. But Jalen Hurts, you came through. I needed two hundred yards. You got two hundred on the dot. You did your thing. I sported your jersey, Dylan Brooks. I don't care about no damn Dylan Brooks rocket jersey, but he grabbed four rebounds when I needed them, and I bought me a Dylan Brooks jersey. So, Shea Sharp did correct it, because I love that. That was his initial reaction, but he went back to what I said. Oh, that's a good one. Kevin Durant I mean, but said he that said that he does. Kevin he Durant buys the jersey. That. Like, he says that when guys win him money, he'll buy their jersey. Right. Honestly, guys, I mean, there was sports better, but there was no social media when I played. Hey, mm-hmm. I, look, bro, I'm trying to win a game. I'm trying to win that game. I promise you, I want to win that game. More do you want to win that 500, yep. that 1,000, or that 20,000? I mm-hmm. promise you. I promise you. And I'll stay up more later at night, 
have more restless nights because I dropped the pass or I made a mistake that somehow cost us a victory or didn't go the way I wanted it to go that longer hurt. than you'll worry about that money. That hurt. Now, with Shannon Sharp, I 1000% believe you because you are the type of person that strive for greatness. You are a Hall of Famer. You were a baller. If sports bettors was betting on you, they was winning a lot more than they was losing because you was consistent. But that don't work out with everybody because you go to somebody like a James Harden. James Harden, alleged, it's not even allegedly, will lose a game in the playoffs and will be out at the club the same night. H- hold on, brother. Um, I just put the I just put the bank on you to score. 25 points, nothing even crazy, and you scored 12. So with you, yes. My thing as a sports capper, all I care about, I know you're going to have wins, you're going to have wins, you're going to have losses. As a capper, that's somebody that is doing sports bet, all I care from the player, if any player is watching this, is your effort. All I care. When I my consistent thing I bet on is Joker 25, 10, and 6. Consistently. Because he's consistently going to play and going to give it his all. We lost money on him the last two times we did it. But he shot a historic 31 times and had the historic worst game in his career. He couldn't hit a layup. And he kept on trying. (laughs) I can't. And he still had 23 points. He was two away. I can't get mad if you give effort. Some players, AD, AD, what he just had, 40 points, 20 rebounds, and you bet on him next game, he might give you 12 points and five rebounds. I, all we care about is effort sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Effort. Effort. And, you know, I, I tell people that are that are gamblers, you know you're going to win and you lose. And if you're, not, if you're not willing to lose, you shouldn't be gambling because you ain't going to win them all. No. That's the cliche thing. We – well, I guess everybody don't understand that. You're going to win some, you're going to lose some. I tell people, look, we're going to win, you're going to lose. The goal is with me, you're going to win more than you lose. We ain't trying to do Hail Marys every time. We're just trying to do that. You look at my record with NFL, we're up over 100 units right now, over $10,000 a season. NBA, we up over 50 units. Hockey, golf, <laughs> like the only ones we're not up. Was MLB? That's my first time ever betting the MLB and hockey. We're still down, but we have year. But golf, we just won the championship. Like, come on, so you know, you can't. I mean, the, you, you you're not supposed to gamble any more than you can afford to lose anyway. It's just so you should be upset when you do lose. That that's, yeah. I think that's the problem. <laughs> now, this is why a lot of us are getting mad. If you let let's let's turn to nerd a little bit. Let's go to the numbers. You go to DraftKings. DraftKings is a New York stock exchange company, so I can go to their exact numbers. DraftKings reportedly, they did their, um, their, their quarter reports. This was the last one. DraftKings reports third quarter revenue of $790 million, raises 30, raises 2023. Revenue guidance midpoint to $3.695 billion. Dollars. This is in a quarter, and this is what they are working with year to date over $3.6 billion. Do they have a deal with NBA? Do they have a deal with NFL? Do they have a deal with hockey? When you're watching TNT, Charles Barkley, hey man, who, hey, hey, Chuck, who you think is going to score first? Oh, with minus 115, I get LeBron James going to score first. So everybody is promoting this, and the players, it's trickling down to the players also getting paid. After, you know, I don't think they can be an outright sponsor, but if your owner's getting paid, the NBA getting paid, it trickled down. Y'all are promoting sports betting the most you have ever did in your in the history of ever sports betting. So, yes, sports better. Yes, players should care about trying their best and hitting these damn parlays. If you average, my thing is, all we can do is go off of 
your consistency. If you are averaging six rebounds a game or whatever it is, like like Niang or whoever his name is, first time ever betting on him today with Cleveland Cavaliers. He's been averaging like 12 points lately. Last 10 games have been doing good. He went 0 for 10 today. Last time I checked, he could have scored. Last time I checked, he had zero points. It, you bummed it up. You 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 completely bummed it up. Yes, you're going to have good games. You're going to have bad games. But when you have players that do things consistently, if you go over, that's great. If you go under, if you, if you get eight rebounds a game and you get two, you're messing up people money. And I like how Stefan Diggs, he was like, this is people – I love and respect. Look at this response. All right, I just pulled this up. NFL fans are absolutely loving Stefan Diggs following his comments on gamblers and her fantasy team. So we go to fantasy. Like, fantasy football is one of the biggest <laughs> things in the world. But all you just keep on saying, all you keep on seeing is players, man, I don't care about y'all parlays. I don't care about y'all. You should. We see you don't care. The way you play. We see you don't care. You don't care about you getting a bigger contract. Stefan Diggs said, I ain't going to lie. I do be feeling a little bad when I F up y'all parlays or fantasy. But trust me, it ain't because I ain't trying to make you that mo- make that mo- hit for you. This is all we ask for. He like, look, I do feel bad when I drop the ball. But trust me, I'm aiming to hit that boy for you every time. That's all we can ask for. Joker's trying to hit it for us every time. That's all we can ask for. What's y'all thoughts? Do y'all agree with Shannon Sharp and what Chad Ocho Cinco said? Shout out to them. What's y'all thoughts?